everyone is building the same boring AI apps. They are all ChatGPT wrappers with generic SaaS and zero originality. And I analyzed over 100 AI app ideas from you guys and some of them were insane. So I'm building the best one live right now to prove that we can actually now build anything and the only limit that is left is your imagination. So by the end of this video, you will have a complete blueprint on how you can build any app that you want. Okay, so we are going to use Lovable Cloud for this and we are going to create an amazing app. And I really believe that this is something that is actually great and people will for sure pay money for this. So we'll now go to the build loop prompt library and I will share this in the description with you. So you can basically grab this and work it out for yourself and launch the product if you'd like. So we have this really well written prompt and it will basically tell us everything we need to know to create our lovable app. So build a personalized AI newspaper landing page. We have our design principles, we have our text already, we have our design elements, we have some value propositions in here, we have some social proof, we have our pricing cards, we have an how it works section, we have an FAQ section, a footer, we have a typography system, we have a system for our fonts, we have a color palette, we have visual elements, and then we have our Stripe checkout flow, and everything in here, we can just directly copy paste and throw into Lovable. So if you want to create something that's more fitting for your use case, you can scroll down here and you can use our AI prompt writer and it will write prompts like this, but then for your use case. So test it out, link is in the description. We can now go back to Lovable and throw it in there and let's see what it actually comes up with. And I think the first version will already really show what we are going to build. And then the other prompts that we need are more for fine tuning and having the actual functionality in here. If you are enjoying my video and learning anything from it, please like and subscribe because I will make more content like this. Believe me, you don't want to miss out where AI is heading and it is going to be insane. So in the meantime, we should go to Stripe and get our Stripe API key. That's the only thing that we need to do to actually start accepting payments. So we'll go to the Stripe website. We can look for API key. We'll create one, our own integration, and we can click on create and then we have our key. Okay, let's see our first version. And to be honest, this is my favorite moment. Really curious about how it's gonna look. Wow, pretty cool animation. This is already looking very cool. We really have this newspaper feeling behind it. This is also looking really, really cool. Wow, very unique as well. So a lot of landing pages really look the same and this is really something unique. And I really like this banner here, it's amazing. So as you can see here, this was our first prompt. We created this in one prompt and we can now actually make sure that we build the functionality behind it, but this is already really, really cool. So let me open this in a new tab. We can click on start your seven day free trial. We can have our email here, continue to check out. Okay, so we are still in demo mode. Um, let's see. Okay, so we need to connect Lovable Cloud for this. We can click here on connect Lovable Cloud. We can click enable cloud. And as you can see, it's so seamless to build something really cool. We can just click on some buttons and it already knows what to do, how to do it. It is now enabling cloud. Okay, so it now suggests that we can go further with the Stripe checkout flow. And we'll just say, yes, please integrate Stripe. Okay, so we can have our API key that we just copied. We can paste it in here. We can click on submit. Okay, so Stripe is enabled. It says, let me now set up the complete integration with database tables, edge functions, and front-end integration. So it exactly knows how to integrate Stripe. And that's something really nice about Lovable right now. It has some native integration. So it already knows how to work with Stripe. It knows how to work with Resend. That's something we'll implement in a minute. So that's for sending emails. And it just knows how to do it. We just need to give it an API key and it will take care of everything. Okay, so it's now creating the edge functions to handle the Stripe checkout and the webhooks. Okay, perfect. So it has fixed everything. We can now go back to our preview. We can refresh it once. Ah, oh, it's looking so nice. So let's click start your seven day free trial. Let's add our email address here. Continue to check out. So it's creating a checkout session. 
we get redirected to Stripe. It created the Stripe product as well, so we didn't need to do anything in Stripe. We just gave it our API key and that was everything. We can now click on start our trial. Perfect, we got redirected. Perfect, so it says welcome to personalize. Your subscription has been successfully activated. Your first personalized newspaper edition will arrive in your inbox tomorrow morning. Wow, okay, perfect. So we can now click on complete your preferences and that's not working yet. So that's the next thing that we need to implement now. So how we'll do that is we'll go back to the build loop prompt library and we'll get our second prompt. And that's about the onboarding chat experience. So it needs to create an engaging onboarding chat interface with a welcome screen, a chat interface design, the onboarding conversation flow, and, it, and the AI now really needs to start understanding who we are, what our interests are, and how to actually provide us with solid news articles. We also save this to MEM0, and MEM0 is really great for storing personalized data that we are going to give to a large language model. And that's obviously what we are going to do. So we'll save everything to MEM0. I will show you the platform in a minute. For now, let's just copy it. Let's go back to our lovable app and let's paste it. And as I said, you can change the prompts a bit toward your goal or generate prompts with the AI prompt generator for your use case. So let's run it now. In the meantime, I will go to MEM0. So you'll go to mem0.ai. You can click on get started. Our lovable is now probably asking for our mem0 API key, perfect. So we can go to API key here and I will very shortly explain to you how mem0 works. So mem0 is a database purely made for AI agents. So it stores everything about users. So we are obviously working with a lot of different users that all have different interests. And because we have that, we want to store that in a nice way. So our AI agents will become smarter over time and will understand better which news articles are interesting for which people or which users. So we can now go to API keys here. We can create a new API key or we can copy an existing one. We can go back to Lovable and we can paste it. So we submit. Okay, so it says perfect, I've created a complete onboarding chat system with AI and MEM0 memory storage. Okay, so this is looking really good. Uh, let's see. Once we now go back to preview, we can refresh this one. We can click on complete your preferences. Okay, perfect. So we are now in the onboarding and it says, hi, I'm your AI editor, what should I call you? So it really tries to get to know you. So I will say, my name is Luke. So we are now in onboarding and it says, hi, I'm your AI editor, what should I call you? And I say, my name is Luke, but it is not responding. So we got an error somewhere. So when we click on cloud, we go to edge functions. We have our onboarding chat function here. And if it's loading, you will probably see that the success rate is red and we are not coming through. So. Here, we have two invocations and a 50% success rate. Let's click here on view logs and we have an error in the onboarding chat function. So we cannot read the properties of undefined reading question. Okay, perfect. So we'll now copy this one and paste it in here. And this is the way where you fine tune your AI functions. And this is a very big part of why some apps are good apps and some other apps are not so good because people don't know how to debug. They are really big vibe coders, but when it becomes complicated, they don't understand it. So you should really understand how to get into the logs and just copy paste it. It's not so hard, but this is the way to fine tune your app. So it is now working on it and it will probably fix the error in one try, but we'll have to see. We have our onboarding page and when we land here, we can click on complete your preferences. Perfect. So my name is Luke. Hi Luke, it's great to meet you. So this is already working. It's super cool that this is working in only one prompt. So to help me tailor your daily newspaper, I love to learn a little bit more about what you do, what kind of work are you involved in. I like AI and I have my AI businesses. So. It will now be storing all this information about me so that it can later find news articles based on what it's learning from this chat. 
That's fantastic, Luke. So you're an AI entrepreneur. That's a seriously exciting field right now. Given your work, I imagine you'd be interested in a lot of AI. Okay, yeah, perfect. I want to just know a lot about AI. And as you can see here, it shows the data points that it has been collecting. Okay, so to make sure I'm getting it just right for you, how detailed would you like your daily AI digest to be? Very detailed, focused on new developments. Okay, so just one more thing, Luke, to make sure you get your personalized new papers. When you're ready to start your day, what time would you like to receive your morning edition? So let's do eight in the morning, Amsterdam time, please. And as you can see, probably this will jump to five out of five data points collected and will get sent to our newsroom. And having a great onboarding is so important. It's the first thing that people see when they open your app and we can see here newsroom setup has been completed and when we go to mem0 you can see that we have been storing everything so username is luke luke likes ai luke has ai business luke wants to learn a lot about ai and luke prefers very detailed ai digestions and wants morning edition at 8 in the morning so it stores everything and we can now come back here and we need to make sure that this is also up to date and then the last thing that we need to do is make sure that we trigger every morning or every timestamp that the person wants, send out an email and also have the newsroom ready. So that's the next thing that we will do. So we now have this prompt, we got it from the prompt library and we'll just say implement the rest of this. We give some information about the scheduled jobs because we need this to be running a few times a day so that we make sure everyone gets their article on time and we have the generation process. We exactly say how we want it to work. We use mem0 for this, so let's actually run this. So we now need our recent API key. We go to recent, and this is also really simple. You can create a free account and that just works already. We can now click here on create API key. We say newspaper, we add, we copy it. We go back to Lovable and we paste it. Okay, perfect, so it has loaded. We can now already click on generate today's edition. So let's test it out. It only took one prompt and yeah, let's just see if this is actually working already. Okay, so we return, we got an edge function error. So we go back to the edge functions. We have our generate edition. We can go to few logs. Okay, so we failed to parse the AI response. So this is not a problem. We paste this and we also see here that I cannot fulfill your request um, real time. Let's see. Okay, we'll copy this. So Gemini cannot do the web browsing. So we also paste this. Please make sure to add a news API scraper. And it is not so complicated. You just need to go to your logs, provide it to Lovable and Lovable almost always knows how to fix it. So we go to news API, we get an API key, we can paste it into Lovable, we submit it, and it will now update the function to actually use a news API instead of the web browsing. And this will make sure that we get up-to-date news articles. And yeah, this is just a process of building an app. Your app won't be perfect in your first try. It is an iterative process and your app will get better over time. And that's what makes it so fun to do. So let's test it out again, generate today's edition. We have another error. So we go back to edge functions. We go to generate edition, few logs. Okay, so we copy this, we paste it. And as you can see here, we have an AI generated edition. But I also see here that we fetched zero articles from news API. So we should also copy this one and paste it, an addition generated. So we are coming closer towards our end product and this is just fine tuning. And this is a really fun iterative process to make sure that your app does exactly what you want it to do. And this is just part of the game. This is basically like coding. You test it out, you see what is happening and if it is not working in the way you expected it to be, you will check why that is happening, you will fix it, you will test it out again, and that way you create really valuable apps. Okay, so we have this page. I did some improvements to the design, so it will now actually look like a real newspaper. Um, what we can now do is we can click on generate today's edition and it will look for relevant news articles. 
and come up with items that are really curated for me and it will also send an email to me. So we have our results. So OpenAI diversifies chip supply with AMD deal. It really looks and feels like a newspaper. We have a why this matters section. We have some action items. We can go to the actual source. This is looking really, really good. And when we now go back to my email, we'll have our daily newsroom. So we have our articles right here. It is looking pretty good. We can now click on this to go to the front page and we created a cron job. And what this means is we specified a specific time where we want to run this process. So instead of clicking on a button, it will automatically run and send it for us. So like this, we just created a complete SaaS app. And to be honest, this is just really cool. I like the designs a lot. You could do this also for other use cases, for example, video ideas for social media, updates from your favorite Instagram influencers. I don't know if you can imagine it, you can now build it. It's really cool. And we already implemented payments. So this is just ready to go. And I can launch this, do some ads for it, do some outreach, and we could actually get this running. Thanks for watching my complete video. If you have learned anything from it, please like and subscribe. It really helps me to build my channel and reach more people. And obviously, that's what I want. I want to make sure that everyone can make the most amazing AI apps. See you in the next one.